environmental stewardship, or economic development. We don't need more debate. We need better ideas and new tools, environmental solutions that really work and also promote beneficial reuse of contaminated sites. Waste containment is one area where the need for better ideas has been the most urgent. A recent report on Department of Energy testing found that common cover materials such as compacted clay with plastic liners began to fail during the first year. Even when containment is successful, regulators and the public are becoming insistent that closures comply with RECRA and CERCLA regulations that require a plan for beneficial use of sites once they are closed. Neither closing federal facilities nor industry nor the public receive such benefits from conventional closures that must still be fenced and posted with signs that say, keep out. I'm walking on a different kind of containment system called MATCON, which is short for Modified Asphalt Technology for Waste Containment. MATCON is an impermeable barrier that also can withstand heavy use. But what is most remarkable is the fact that after 10 years of installation, we recently took tests on it and the permeability showed to be less than 1 times 10 to the minus 8 centimeters per second, which exceeds current RICRA standards and is in fact the same as it was when we built it back in 1989. Uh, I would like to bring in Tom Bubovich, who is the site manager here, to ask him a few questions. Hi, Tom. Thank you. What kind of activities have you had on this surface, Tom? We've used it for storage of heavy equipment, uh, semi-trailers, and we've also used it for the containment of vector waste, which is used for recycling. The MATCOM has held up very well. We had some cracking in our conventional site, conventional asphalt that had to be repaired, but the MATCOM system, we've had no problems. Wilder Construction Company, a leading environmental and civil contractor, was founded in Blaine, Washington in 1911. It has been an asphalt producer and contractor since the 1930s. Wilder installed the first engineered landfill cover in Washington State in 1984. MATCON's inventor, Dr. Ron Terrell, has published more than 150 technical papers and reports in key journals. Well, my name is Ron Terrell. I'm a professor emeritus at the University of Washington. I've been in the civil engineering department there since 1967. My entire field of research and development teaching has been in the field of, of highways and their field pavements. This is a sample from the first job we did at Recomp in 1989. That particular project is just a four inch cap which also serves as a liner for additional temporary storage. Yeah, it's been actually better than we expected. It's worked the way we planned and it's simply by coincidence it didn't just sit there as a waste cover but it was actually a working platform. The owner used it for other purposes, which is really the selling point we have, the multiple use concept. Here at Dover Air Force Base, Delaware, as we learned from Professor Terrell, the MATCON material is essentially voidless. To preserve this quality, the application of the material must be virtually seamless. We achieve this using standard hot lapping techniques. You can see how each new run of asphalt overlaps the previous one while both sections are hot. When the runs and overlapping areas are rolled, a seamless joint results. You can confirm this quality on the spot using a nuclear gauge. If compaction and density levels exceed 97%, MATCON's maximum 3% air void specification is realized. At Dover Air Force Base, air voids were 1.5% or less. This reading of 99.38% density, or less than 0.67% air voids, was typical. My name is David Carson. I'm with the United States EPA, Office of Research and Development in Cincinnati, Ohio. We're the National Risk Management Research Laboratory. And this is a super fun, innovative technology evaluation project in Dover, Delaware, also known as the SITE program. This project intends to evaluate the MATCON Alternative Landfill Cover System as part of the site program which, which evaluates many kinds of innovative technologies and tries to match them to specific real-world problems at Superfund sites around the country. At Tri-County Landfill Superfund site in Elgin, Illinois, the purpose was to study MATCON's performance in cold weather and under the heavy loads associated with the site's reuse as a parking area for loaded garbage trucks. 
MATCON is an acronym for Modified Asphalt Technology for Waste Containment. How is the asphalt modified, and why does MATCON perform so well? Dense graded MATCON is designed to have air voids of 3% or less and have a permeability coefficient of less than 1 times 10 to the minus 8 centimeters per second. This is a full order of magnitude better than the common regulatory requirement of 1 times 10 to the minus 7. Most highway pavements are constructed with about 6 to 10 percent air voids. Water can enter these voids but cannot easily escape. The trapped water remains and causes damage through stripping, freeze-thaw and binder softening while oxidation by air intrusion causes the material to become brittle. Dense graded MATCON prevents entry of water and air, so no internal damage occurs. MATCON is not just ordinary PG graded modified asphalt with low air voids. The principal modifiers Wilder uses to manufacture MATCON binder have never been used in construction of our nation's highways. It is a unique product engineered specifically for its environmental application that offers qualities of low permeability, strength and resilience, and longevity that surpass those associated with highway construction. Low permeability is not even a factor in the design of conventional pavements. Strength and elasticity, especially resistance to cracking, may be less crucial and a maintenance consideration for highways but they are the basis of integrity for an environmental cover. When hazardous materials are to be contained, we need low maintenance covers that last much longer than typical highways. MATCON simultaneously succeeds in all three areas, making MATCON the only asphalt product that satisfies existing environmental regulations and requirements. To confirm that MATCON can provide a long-term containment remedy, Wilder used the Environmental Conditioning System, or ECS, that Professor Terrell developed as part of his contribution to the U.S. Department of Transportation's Strategic Highway Research Program. This test accelerates the time effect of liquid and air exposure on the tested surface. Asphalt core specimens are subjected to repeated loading. Water or air is pulled through the voids by vacuum, and the temperature is cycled from zero to 140 degrees Fahrenheit every six hours. Conventional pavement deteriorates rapidly, while MATCON shows negligible damage. The ability of MATCON to support heavy loads, such as 50-ton trucks and tracked vehicles, makes it suitable for many uses. A wealth of site program data now confirms the predictions of the environmental conditioning system. The science behind MATCON is sound. The alchemy of MATCON is that it converts hazardous waste sites into valuable real estate, furthering both environmental stewardship and economic development. It is easier and quicker to install than conventional rec covers and costs no more. MATCON is accepted as a new tool for environmentalists, a containment solution for the future.